Hi everybody. I'm glad you could join me. This is kind of funny because you're at your house and I'm at my house, but we're going to try and read a story together. The story that I have today is called The Barefoot Book of Children. We read parts of it at certain times in our classroom, so I thought you might enjoy seeing it again. Every morning, millions of children open their eyes and start another day. I want to make sure you can see it. We are all somewhere. Where are you? What can you see or hear or smell from where you are? Wherever you are, you need a place to live. A home can be just one room, or it can be so big that you can get lost inside. Do you have a special place? Perhaps a place where you go when you want to play with a friend, or daydream, or just be quiet for a while. We all need other people. People teach us the names of trees, mend us where we're hurt, and rise early in the morning to bake our bread. Most children live in families. Your family might be big or small. Perhaps you have one parent, or perhaps you have two. Some members of your family might live close by. You might be the only child in your family, or you might have lots of brothers, sisters, or cousins. Maybe you have foster parents or a step family. Maybe someone you love lives far away. We come in all different shapes and sizes and hues, like jewels or flowers or fish. Long legs, small hands, curly hair, freckled skin, hazel eyes. No two people have bodies that are just the same. What you wear can depend on where you live and how you spend your time. Some clothes are for sleeping or playing or special occasions. Just putting on a new hat can make you feel like a different person. Look at all those different hats. They all make different faces depending on which hat they wear. <laughs> we can all do amazing things. What do you like to do? What would you like to do if you had the chance? Life is sometimes about play. Games can be complicated like chess or simple like hide and seek. Playing is how we learn. You can play with friends or you can play alone. Life is sometimes about work too. Maybe you help clean up after dinner or take care of your baby sister or water the garden. Maybe you do jobs to earn pocket money or help your family. We need good food to eat and clean water to drink. At a table, on a rug, with your fingers or with a piece of bread, there are lots of different ways to enjoy a meal. What tastes good to you might taste strange to someone else.
We need water to clean ourselves too. We learn how to communicate by copying the people around us. Which languages do you speak? Which ones do you recognize? In the picture, everybody's speaking a different language. I can't read all of them because I don't speak all of those languages. We all have a name. What's yours? Does it have a meaning? Maybe you're the only person who's ever had that name. Or maybe you share your name with many other people. Do you have a nickname? Like Nanu or Noodle or Red? Something special that maybe your parents call you or your grandparents call you. Feelings can come and go like weather. Everyone feels curious or silly or scared sometimes. A life is made up of days and every day is different, but some are more special than others. Do you sometimes find a way to make a day or a moment more special for you or for someone else? Do you have a treasure that is special to you? A feather you found on the bench, on the beach, or a photo or a pebble your granddad gave you when you were small? Where do you keep it? Some people worship, some people pray, some meditate, some like quiet time to think. Some people prefer to take life as it comes. We all have a lot to give. We all have a lot of love to give. There are lots of ways to show people you care, like saying sweet things, offering your help, or just spending time with them. How do you share your love? Every life is a story. It's easier to understand someone when you know their story. You are part of the world. You are also a world all on your own. This is where you belong. What will happen in your story? That's the end. The rest of the book talks about some of the specific pages that we read, but it was so nice to spend time with you and I'll see you again soon.